conditional formatting is a powerful feature in spreadsheet applications like Excel that allows analysts to apply visual formatting to cells based on specific criteria. By using color scales, icon sets, and custom rules, analysts can quickly highlight trends, outliers, and critical data points within their datasets. This visual representation enhances data interpretation, enabling faster decision-making and clearer communication of insights. Whether tracking performance metrics, managing budgets, or analyzing sales data, conditional formatting transforms raw numbers into actionable information, significantly improving efficiency and clarity in data analysis. To find conditional formatting in Excel, navigate to the Home tab under the Styles group. Click the drop-down arrow next to Conditional Formatting, and all available options will be displayed. Hover your cursor over each option, and an arrow will appear, indicating that a submenu with additional settings is available to the right. Highlight Cells rules in Excel allows you to quickly format cells based on specific conditions, such as greater than, less than, or equal to a certain value. This feature visually emphasizes important data, making it easier to identify trends and outliers at a glance. Now, let's start by highlighting a range in the table. Click on Conditional Formatting, then select Highlight Cells Rules and choose Greater Than. Enter the number you want to set, so that any numbers in the range greater than this value will be highlighted. Select your desired fill format. You can also choose a custom format by clicking the drop-down arrow next to Fill Color and selecting Custom Format. When you do this, several options will pop up. Go to the Font tab to choose your desired font format. Then navigate to the Fill tab to select a color. Once you're finished, click OK at the bottom of the dialog box. Your range will now be formatted. Finally, click OK again in the Greater Than Rule dialog box to apply the changes. Now, let's say we want to clear this rule. You can either click Undo or go to Conditional Formatting, select Clear Rules, and then click on Clear Rules from selected cells. Now, our range no longer has any rules. The Greater Than Rule works similarly to the Less Than Rule. If you enter a number, it will format those cells that are less than the specified value. The Between Rule formats cells that fall between the two numbers you set. This enhances data visibility, aids in quick analysis, and helps identify trends or outliers efficiently. By clearly highlighting specific ranges, it allows for better decision-making and prioritization of data-driven insights. Additionally, instead of just formatting with fill and font color, you can also apply borders to the numbers in the range. Click OK when you're done. As you can see, the cells with numbers between the smaller and larger values are now formatted with borders. Now, the rule for text that contains allows you to format cells in Excel based on specific text criteria. You can highlight cells that contain certain words or phrases, making it easier to identify relevant data within your spreadsheet. This feature enhances data analysis by visually distinguishing important text entries. To set this rule, go to Conditional Formatting again, then select Highlight Cells Rules and click on text that contains. By default, it will use the first word in the selected column. Choose your desired fill format and click OK. Use the drop-down list to select another word. Now, repeat the same steps as we did previously, it will automatically insert the phrase, but you can type your own if you prefer. I find using the default faster. You can then choose the fill format you like, and when you're done, click OK. Now you can clear the rules just as we did previously and now let's talk about the next rule, which is duplicate values. This rule allows you to identify and format cells that contain duplicate entries in your data. By applying this rule, you can quickly spot repeated values within a selected range. You can choose different fill colors to highlight duplicates, enhancing the visibility of your data and helping to maintain data integrity. Let's start by entering some similar values under the project duration in number of days. Next, highlight the entire column of the table. Navigate to Conditional Formatting and select Duplicate Values, a dialog box will appear. By default, Duplicate will be selected in the left box, but if you click the drop-down arrow, you will also see it unique. Let's start with Duplicate. If you click OK the same values in the range will be highlighted. Go back to Duplicate Values, choose Unique, and observe the types of values it formats. Remember, you can change the color if you want. 
By default, red is the fill color, which may not distinguish our rules well, so change the fill color to green and then click OK when you're done. Now let's discuss the top bottom rules. These rules allow you to highlight the highest or lowest values in a selected range. You can specify how many top or bottom entries to highlight, making it easy to identify key data points like top sales or lowest expenses. By applying these rules, you enhance data visibility, helping you make informed decisions quickly. First, highlight the table range under duration. Go to conditional formatting, then select top bottom rules and click on top 10 items. By default, it is set to 10, but since we have fewer than 10 rows in our table, reduce the number to 2 for the top 2. Then, choose the fill color you want and click OK. Now, in our column, 215 and 160 become our top two values. Repeat the same steps again. The other rules under the top bottom rule are easy to follow as well. Just try them and enjoy. Now let's talk about the data bars rule in Excel. This rule allows you to visually represent the values in a range by adding horizontal bars directly within the cells. To apply data bars, highlight your data range, go to conditional formatting, and select data bars. You can choose from gradient or solid fill options to create a clear visual comparison of values. This helps you quickly assess the magnitude of each entry, making it easier to identify trends or outliers in your data at a glance. For the data bars, go to conditional formatting, then select data bars and choose the style you like. By default, the duration will display both the bars and the values on the right. You can customize this as you wish. Go to data bars and then more rules. To show bars only, check the box and you can change the color by selecting from the color drop down list. Choose the color you want and you can also add a border. Lastly, click OK. Now, as you can see, we are left with bars only, which can be very useful when dealing with large values. Color scales in Excel allow you to apply gradient colors to your data, making it easy to visualize value distributions. To use them, highlight your data, go to conditional formatting, and select color scales. Choose a gradient to represent high and low values, helping you quickly identify trends and outliers in your data. Click on color scales under conditional formatting. Browse through the color gradients available and choose the one you like, making your data easier to interpret. Let's use the gradient where higher values are highlighted in green, middle values in yellow, and lower values in red. To me, green indicates that the project has many days, while red signifies fewer days. Icon sets in Excel visually represent data with symbols, like traffic lights indicating performance levels, green for high values, yellow for moderate, and red for low. There are also sets with arrows that show trends, such as up for improvement, down for decline, and sideways for no change. Shape icons, like stars or circles, offer quick visual ratings, while indicators represent status levels. Using these icons helps you interpret data at a glance and easily identify key insights. Now let's use the first icons under shapes. If you select them, cells with greater values will display green icons, followed by yellow for moderate values and red for smaller values. To use icons only, go to conditional formatting, then select icon sets. Next, click on more rules. Check the box to show icons only and then click OK. Using icon streamlines data presentation, making it intuitive and easy to interpret at a glance. To show the icons and values again, navigate to icon sets. Next, click on more rules. The box will be unchecked, do not check it, and just click OK. To change icon cutoff, go to conditional formatting, then click on icon sets. Next, go to more rules. For the first value, enter 50. And for the smaller value, enter 8. If you click on type, you can see the different options available. But let's stick with percent for now. Now you can see the changes. Setting a rule using a formula in Excel lets you apply conditional formatting based on specific criteria. This customizes how data is highlighted based on your defined conditions. To set a rule to highlight cells, go to conditional formatting. Click on new rule, select the last rule type, and then enter your formula. This formula checks if the value in cell K13 is greater than the average of the range K13 to K18. 
First, it calculates the average of the specified cells. Then, it compares K13 to this average. If K13 exceeds the average, the formula returns true, otherwise, it returns false. This helps in identifying values that stand out above the average in your dataset. Now let's say you want to clear all the rules in the entire range. First, highlight all the cells. Go to Conditional Formatting, then click on Clear Rules and select Clear Rules from selected cells. Now the table no longer has any rules. Managing rules in Excel refers to organizing, editing, or deleting conditional formatting rules applied to cells. This allows you to prioritize, modify criteria, and ensure that the formatting reflects your data accurately. To make changes to a rule, go to Conditional Formatting and click on Manage Rules. For the formula rule, change its range from K18 to K15. Do the same in Edit Rule, and when you're done, choose a different fill color. Finally, click OK and then click Apply. If you want to edit the other rules, you can follow the Manage Rules steps as we did previously. In conclusion, mastering conditional formatting in Excel enhances your data visualization skills. Remember to watch more videos for additional tips and tricks. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if your support means a lot to me. Thank you.